and the labor shortage. I spoke with Glitch CEO and longtime technology observer Anil Dash yesterday at CNBC's Technology Executive Council Summit about how technology is giving workers more power to negotiate terms in this tight labor market. What we're seeing is workers saying, like, it's been, however you want to measure, 40, 50 years of us saying, like, you know, we're pushing you more and more to be replaceable widgets. And finally, they're like, look, you said I'm a replaceable widget. So at this point, I'm going to be on a free market player and I'm going to, you know, play the market. Right. And so I think that sense of like coming back into where they're like leveraging that power, you're like, great, let's accommodate. Let's actually find a middle ground. And the technology can enable that. And, and I think that's really exciting. I mean but Julia, Cher Scarlett is leaving Apple. Uh, I don't know where the push for pay transparency and flexibility stands. I mean, she, she seems to have gotten paid on the way out, perhaps. But I, I'm not sure with some strong companies uh, where, where this, I don't know if it's a stalemate or struggle, is going to play out. Well, look, and this also ties into that conversation about Activision Blizzard, whether there's going to be pressure from employees for more changes. And, Carl, it seems like this is the moment where employees have the ability to have to put pressure on their management teams to want flexibility, to work from home, and also other perks, other, other things that they want their companies to do to show that they maybe care about the environment or care more about their employees. Yeah, we haven't really mentioned the uh, the Deer uh, UAW agreement, but 10% pay hike in year one, multiple pay hikes in the further out years, $8,500 signing bonus. That's what happens uh, when you get collective bargaining in a market this tight. Um, we're going to see uh, to what degree that translates into tech as well.